Hi, I am Dr. Vaibhav Deraje. I am a consultant craniofacial and plastic surgeon, Bangalore. Unicoronal craniosynostosis is a type of non-syndromic craniosynostosis where only one side coronal suture is fused before normal time. So what happens is in the skull there are two coronal sutures which go from one ear to the middle here and one from the middle to the other ear. So these two coronal sutures are usually open or patent until the child becomes an adult. But in unicoronal craniosynostosis what happens is one side fuses earlier than usual. Now what happens if one side fuses? Now if one side fuses that side of the forehead doesn't grow well. Now because that doesn't grow well as you can see there is a flattening of the forehead on the affected side. Now that's why what the brain does is it compensate and pushes the other side of the forehead outwards. So as you can see in this model the suture is fused on one side and that's why that side is flat whereas the brain is pushing and that's why here there is a bossing of the forehead. Now this deformity is called as plagiocephaly that is a twisted skull. Again unicoronal craniosynostosis can be treated by two approaches. The first approach is a minimally invasive endoscopic strip craniectomy followed by helmet therapy for about one to one and a half years. This is again can be done only if somebody comes to us within six months of age. If somebody comes to us after six months of age, the only other technique is fronto-orbital advancement where we open up the skull, take this part of the skull and reshape the forehead bones and put it back into place. And when we put it back, we usually use something called as resorbable plates and screws. That is very important because we can't use metal plates in children. In such a young child, if we use metal plates, there is a lot of growth restriction. So that's why we use resorbable plates to fix the bones back into position.